All right. Hello, everybody. It is I, Grana Wright. And here we are, back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal with our Gen 2 type challenge of fire type. Gonna finish this fire type playthrough. Hope you all are excited, just like I am. Get this uh, finished and see what our next playthrough is gonna be. Hey, Papa Gemmer, glad that you're here, even if you're lurking. Always glad to have uh, people joining in. I'm excited to get this finished up. See what our next playthrough is going to be. We have 17 playthroughs left after this one, so we are winding down out of the 59 total. Remember, if you want to see what teams we have left, you can exclamation mark teams in the chat, pull up that Google Doc, and it'll show who we've used and who we have remaining for each type. All right. So as we do, here's red. We're going to check out our team before going into this fight. So Moltres, level 65, 231 hit points. Leftovers, fly, rest, sleep, talk, flamethrower. 204 special attack, 173 attack, 159 speed, 152 special defense, 149 defense. Entei. Level 65, 190 attack, uh, 170 special attack, 169 speed, 161 defense, 151 special defense. King's Rock return, Solar Beam, 70 days, Flamethrower, 270 hit points. Macargo, 166 hit points. Leftovers, Flamethrower, Body Slam, Amnesia, Rollout, 205 defense, 140 on the specials, 119 on attack, and 87 speed. Which leaves Magmar, 175 special attack, 171 speed, 166 attack, 156 special defense, 114 defense. Charcoal, Flamethrower, Thunder Punch, Sunny Day, Psychic, and 196 hit points. We're going to swap up Magmar to start out this fight. And here we go. Pikachu hits the field against our Magmar, and we're going to throw a Flamethrower. Outspeeding that Pikachu, powered up with the Charcoal. Just in time for the Red Fight. That's right, Krishnabon. That's woohoo. All right, Pikachu goes down with a single Flamethrower. Good deal. We have Espeon coming out next. We are going to swap over to our Entei. We're going to return on this Espeon. Good damage. That's about two thirds. Does drop a Reflect though, so we'll have to keep that in mind. We're going to go for a Flamethrower next. So special attacks are dropped for everybody now. Or not special, physical attacks. Flamethrower does take it down. That's two down, four to go. Last Toys. The Toys is coming out next. We're going to swap to the Magmar again. Sunny Day it up. All right, here comes the Rain Dance. We're going to Sunny Day again to get rid of that Rain Dance. We do take a Surf here. But it is halved damage-wise. Good deal, Magmar. Thunder Punch. Good damage. Decent. So Surf coming out again. We are going to go ahead and Hyper Potion Magmar up here. So this is turn... Well, we had Sunny Day. It... Surf. So this is the third turn of Sun. Coming in with another Thunder Punch on this Blastoise. Right, it rain dances, but we're gonna risk it for the biscuit and go down for that thunder punch. The threat has been neutralized. Snorlax is coming out next. We're gonna swap over to Macargo. 
All right. So, Snorlax is going to be dropping some physical attacks. We're going to start out with a rollout here, hoping we're going to dodge some paralysis from this um, body slams. He goes for amnesia. We're not even doing phys or special damage right now. That's a tier two. Here comes the body slam. No paralysis. Excellent. We've recovered with the leftovers. Tier three. Critical hit. Wow. Comes up with a body slam there. No paralysis again. Excellent. The rain has stopped. Tier 4. And the big boy is down. Venusaur coming out next. We are going to swap over to Moltres. And just drop a flamethrower on this Venusaur. Macargo taking all is taking all out. That's right. Ooh, the Venusaur does survive, but it goes for a Solar Beam. Takes two turns, my friend. Another flamethrower coming out. And here comes Charizard. We're gonna swap back to Macargo. Cup recovers with a little leftovers. We're gonna drop an amnesia just to be safe. Easy victory this red fight. That's right. Alright, let's do another one. It's gonna wing attack us. Not very effective, my friend. Does 20 damage. Not bad. Into the rollouts we go. 20 more damage. Woohoo! Look at that damage on a tier 1 rollout. Stab times 4 effective. I would think so. Bam. GG's. G G G G G G G G's. Easy clap. We look at all them GG's. <laughs> All right, let's pop it to the desktop here. Oh, what, what an easy end. All right, so we're gonna be seeing who we're gonna be using for for our next playthrough. Uh, we uh, are gonna, of course, we'll see what starter we are using first. So we don't cheat or see Mike for cheating. So we'll roll this D6. One and two is Chikorita. Three and four is Cyndaquil. Five and six is Totodial. Boom, we're gonna have a Cyndaquil. Which means our rival is going to have a Totodile. So we have five types left, five types. In order of one through five is going to be, and we'll just roll this excited, six will be reroll. Uh, flying Water, Normal, Ground, Psychic. That's one through five, boom. Flying water, or flying water, normal ground, ground type for this playthrough. Which this is our final ground type playthrough, so this is already predetermined for us. And that team is going to be Pupitar, not evolving into Tyranitar, uh, Nidoking, and Quagsire.